us some vintage khakis from the Levi's archives because Levi's has made khaki clothing for a hundred years and well before Dockers. So this is like the, the heritage of Dockers and it goes back over a hundred years. I have, um, for example, this catalog from 1912. This is what our khakis looked like in 1912. And they're very, you know, it's very formal, it's very, uh, it's very masculine and it's, it's very close to what you see today in terms of khakis. So the oldest um, trousers we have from the collection are this pair from about 1916. Um, and uh, you can see they're, you know, they don't really look like you could wear them in an office. Um, but in the old days, if, you're, if your fine clothing got stained or torn, it would become your workwear. So that's what happened to this pair. For some guy, yeah. it had to become his workwear. And we're so lucky because we can see like these really beautiful details. We had branded buttons that were painted the same color as the khaki. And it has a corduroy watch pocket. Just a little extra little extra styling detail, you know, beautifully edged. And even the, the back pockets are very modern. I mean this looks they look vintage and they look modern at the same time, which is one of the things I love about so many of these vintage khakis. And the company's designers use these vintage khakis and use the archives all the time as inspiration for some of the things that you see here. And one of them is this piece here. This, this pair of khakis was literally found in a cave in the American South. And it's the inspiration for one of the pieces in the K1 collection now. So this whole, like, very interesting sort of dirt, and we don't know what else this is, you know, finish was very inspiring to our designer. And so he used this and recreated it in a modern product, which is the wonderful way the designers use the archives. I just, I just find that fascinating. And we've had different colors of khaki clothing and different styles as well. This is a pair of riding pants from the 1920s. It has very um, amazing, good, you know, styling details. And this was our label for our high fashion line. It was called Built Line. Built. Oh, okay. um, and the name came from uh, one of the uh, the families in the United States that had um, called the Vanderbilt family. Gloria Vanderbilt is a descendant of that family, and this was sort of a, a way to communicate to customers that this is a very high fashion product. So this is, a, as you can see, look at the difference. You know, khaki would come in a variety of colors, and we made use of all of the, you know, the available colors and fabrics that you could get, you know, from American textile mills. And then this sort of, you know, khaki sort of went away for a little while, at least in our line. And after World War II, there was this huge interest in khakis again because of American military uniforms. So in 1956, we introduced tab twills, and this is the exact fabric that the American military used to make uniforms during World War II. Tab twills. And it's the same, it's called Cramerton Army Cloth. The same fabric the military used. So this was, you know, the, whole, the whole history of khakis has such a military inspiration. Um, and no matter what time period it's introduced, you always get those, those military details. And this is one of the shirts that went with the Tab Twills collection. And it even talks about the famous fabric. And the shirts and pants would match. And one ex-military man even took one of these Tab Twills shirts and customized it. He took pin tucks up and down, added epaulettes, and then on the shoulder patch, this is a, a military veterans patch. So even after the war, somebody you know wanted to have that that very you know that, that, that shirt that reminded him of his military service, and he kept that one. So the, the 1960s, uh, we we stopped making khakis for a while, for you know for about 20 years, and then in the 80s, Levi Strauss Japan came up with the very first Dockers, but they called them Docker pants, and this is from 1985. The pleated cotton, Dogger Pants.
finance from Levi's Japan, which was the inspiration for Dockers that came out of the U.S. the next year. So Dockers became this very classic American brand beginning in 1986, and since that year, we, we are now the khaki brand, and it's been consistent for us since that time. And all these other pieces are used, you know, as I've said, used by designers, and to help remember that that's, you know, that's our past. In fact, even in 1999, designers went back into the archives and created the first K1, which is a very important part of the, of the Dockers family today. This is the original label. And this is that same military fabric. And then 